Quebec Premier Jean Charest was in town yesterday for the climate change conference down at the UN. He doesn't come to New York very often, so I dragged him into the studio and asked him about the Canadian dollar, how it's affecting the economy in his province, one of the biggest suppliers of electricity to the United States, and a major force in forestry. Our economy is very dependent on exports. We have one of the most open economies in the world, one of the economies that depends the most on exports, and 80% of our exports go to the United States. And so it has a big impact on everything we on our manufacturing sector, for example. Uh, the problem has always been the very rapid variations in the value of the currency. You know, that it move in one direction is one thing, but that it move in a very short period of time, everyone understands how disrupted that is. And, and right now, Oh, that is one of the challenges we're facing. For the, for, take, for example, the forestry industry. Everything, whether it's softwood lumber or, or paper or newsprint, all, all these industries are very, very directly impacted by this. And what we try to do is encourage uh, more productivity by instant, giving incentives to invest in, uh, in machinery and production, to use the higher dollar to try to leverage some productivity out of our, our manufacturing base. And I think we're, we're making some success success at ha making that happen. But uh, as soon as, you know, uh, the dollar moves to 90 cents, I think we're probably, we're, the value of our dollar will probably be in that zone for a long while. That's, well, that's what I see on our radar screen. So are you comfortable then with the way that the Bank of Canada has managed the economy in as much as it affects the dollar? Yes, I am comfortable with the way the Bank of Canada has managed it. I think uh, our, you know, the governor of the bank, Mark Carney, has done very well. And uh, we live in a global market. We have one of the most open economies in the world. And, and one of the consequences of that is that the, our dollar is going to move with these markets, especially when resources and the, and the value of resources move. And, uh, and it's one of the consequences. We just, what we need to do, though, is try to move lock in lockstep so that we offer some adjustment to industry when these variations happen in a very short period of time. The Canadian dollar actually became worth more than the American dollar not that long ago, November of 2007. It's heading in that direction again. So those are the concerns from Premier Charest. We'll have more from him on the subject of trade with the United States coming up next hour.